Hello and welcome back to PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak and this is the Shortcut series. Today we are going to talk about probably the most important thing, how to create custom keyboard shortcuts and I would like to show you my favorite setup. I am using the function keys for my custom keyboard shortcuts because the function keys are the only buttons on your keyboard that you don't have to press down a modifier key together with. So, for example, if you want to use, let's say, E, you can use that for a tool in Photoshop. So, let's just say that's the eraser tool, the default uh, shortcut setup. But if you want to set it to something else, then you will have to add one of the modifier keys like Command or Alt Command together or Shift Command Alt together and so on and so forth. So if you want to use just one button from the menus or panel menus, you will have to use one of the function keys. If you are a Mac user, you also have to make sure that your function keys are set as default function keys. Let me show you first of all how to do that. You have to go to the system preferences and under system preferences, you will be able to find these options in the keyboard options. And here, just make sure you have the use all function keys as standard function keys option turned on. So once you have that, then you will be able to use these settings. This is just a suggestion, you don't have to follow this exactly, but throughout the years of teaching and using Photoshop all the time, I came up with this set of keyboard shortcuts and I use them a lot and it saves a lot of time for me. So, first of all, F1 and F2 is my step backward and step forward. I have a hundred steps set in the preferences to be able to go back to and to do this very quickly, I am using these two uh, keyboard shortcuts. So F1 and F2. Then I have show and hide layer to show and hide the layer which is selected. It can be many layers as well. Then I have flip horizontal, which is set uh, as a default to flip horizontal the selected layer or layers. But if I hold down together command F4, then that will be flip the whole canvas. This is very useful as well because I use this option quite a lot. Then F5 is my new layer option. F6 is creating a smart object from the selected layer or layers. F7 is to create a mask from a selection. And F8 is to save something as a different format or into a different format. Now let me show you how to set up a custom keyboard shortcut. And then let me show you how I work with these uh, sh shortcuts. So I am going to Photoshop and I go to edit, choose keyboard shortcuts. And here, for example, if I want to change the edit a step backward and step forward, I just need to go to shortcuts for application menus and then edit. And here I can find the options which I can also access from the application menus. So as you can see, I set F1 and F2 for these two. I accepted it and I saved it as my shortcuts. It will be saved as a file, a KYS file, which is great because then you can always move that file to another computer as well. So if I save this, the file that has been created for it can be moved to any computers. Even between different versions of Photoshop, I can always uh, move this same keyboard shortcut set. So I don't want to go to all the other options. The ones that I am using are the following. It's here in the image menu. One of them is here in the edit menu as well under transform. So there's transform, flip horizontal, F4. And I have actually alt or option F4 for flip vertical. But then I also have an option under the image menu, image. And here I will find the flip canvas horizontal shift F4. That is also important. Then under, if I go back, under the uh, image menu or sorry, the layer menu, I have new layer F5, then I have F3 here further down, which is hide layers or show layers. Then I have F6 to convert to smart object, F7 to reveal selection under layer mask. And if I go back to the file menu, I can find the save as option, which I use for F with F8. Okay, now let me show you how it works. 
So for example, if I want to flip the whole canvas of this image, I can press Shift F4 and I can flip it around like that. Or if I have another layer, let's just say I have a type here and I'm going to type in magazine and fill it in with black. If I want to flip this around, I can press F4 because that will flip only the selected layer. If I hold down Alt F4, that will flip it upside down. So for example, if I want to create a quick reflection effect on this, I'm going to duplicate it. That's Command J for that I don't need a custom keyboard shortcut. Then I press Alt F4 to uh, turn it upside down, this duplicated version. Then I set the opacity down to 30%. That's pressing 3 while having the Move tool selected or something else other than the tools with which has already opacity option on them. Then I press Command A to select everything. Then I press F7 to create a mask from that selection. And then using the gradient tool, I am creating a gradient to create that um, effect, the reflection effect. If I zoom closer, you can see how it works. If I want to turn the image in the background into a smart object, I just need to press F6 and it's already a smart object. If I want to create a new layer, I just need to press F5. And if I want to skip this step next time and I create a new layer, this dialog box, I just need to press Alt F5 and that will create a new layer immediately. To turn on and off a layer, I select the layer and press F3, and F3 again to turn it back on. If I select two layers at the same time, I can turn them off and on again, using the same keyboard shortcut. If I move these around, let's just say I'm looking for a space for it, move it to the right, move it down a bit, move it down here, maybe make it bigger, just move it again a bit further down, then fill it in with white, that's command backspace. And then if I want to go back and forth between these steps, I can just press F1 to go backwards and F2 to go forward. So a very fast way to search between the history steps. And then when I'm happy with the result, if I want to save it in a different format, I can press F8 to save as, or Command Shift S to save for web. The default shortcut for save for web is Command Alt Shift S, but that's a bit too much to hold down. That's why I have F8 to save as instead of pressing Command Shift S. And I use Command Shift S for save for web instead. But as I said, all of these are my preferences. So it's up to you how you use the function keys, but it is great to start introducing this to your workflow and start to make the most of your keyboard because you have 12 function keys and it is very easy to set these custom keyboard shortcuts up in Photoshop. And once you start using them, you won't be able to go back and you will probably also use similar shortcuts in the other Adobe applications. Like the F1 and F2 is the same for me in Illustrator and InDesign and all the other Creative Suite applications as well. That's all I wanted to show you today. I hope you learned something useful. And in the next episode, I'm going to show you how to make the most of duplicated smart objects in a document. Thanks a lot for your attention today, and I hope to see you next time.